Hey guys, welcome back. It's your Sunny Trainer Sydney, and today I have an awesome workout on the RV 4936. This is one of my favorite recumbent bikes because we're gonna get a little bit of work on the legs, some arms, whole full body workout today. So let's hop onto our bikes. Make sure that your bike is set up properly for you so that you can reach the pedals and sit comfortably. And we will get started in just a few seconds here. All right, let's get started with a warm up today. We are going to start with a full body cycle. So we're using both our legs and our arms here, nice and gentle pace. And your resistance can be around a one or a two, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna stay here for a minute and then we're gonna do just arms for a minute and then just legs for a minute. So we will get a full body warm up before we head into our workout for the day. This workout is gonna be a tough one today. This is a Tabata workout. So if you're not familiar with Tabata, we are going to be doing eight rounds of 20 seconds of hard all out work to 10 seconds off, eight total times. So we're gonna start by doing that just with our arms, then we'll do just our legs, and then we'll do full body. So it's gonna be a tough one, but it's gonna be good. So hang with me. All right, let's switch. We're gonna do just our arms. So let's push with those arms. Make sure they're nice and warm before we begin our Tabata because it is not going to be easy. Nice, good, upright posture. Your feet should be solid and flat on the ground. Core is engaged and we are pumping with those arms. Great job, guys. So when we, we begin our Tabata intervals, we're gonna start with just one section of the body. So our first Tabata interval, we are gonna be doing just upper body. So I'm going to encourage you guys to find a resistance that's good for you. Um, I'll let you know where I'm gonna go. I might do it differently on upper body and lower body because my upper body is a little weaker than my lower body, of course. Let's switch for a little lower body warm up. So just pedals. Great job, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna challenge you to pick a resistance that's appropriate for you for each section of this workout, and I'll let you know before we begin each section. So right now, think in mind of what kind of resistance you might want for the arm portion of this workout. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds of hard work to 10 seconds of rest, eight total times, so it's gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna start mine at a resistance of four. So if that sounds good to you, follow along with me, but you can always go heavier or lighter depending on your fitness level, so you choose. All right, about 10 seconds. So let's get ready to start those first Tabata intervals. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, so crank up that resistance. Let's go. First interval, arms only. So remember, chest is nice and upright. Core is engaged. We are pumping with those arms. Come on guys, go, go, go. 20 seconds, you got this. Three, two, one, and rest. 10 second rest, soak it in. All right, let's get ready and go. Second interval, come on. Pump those arms. Keep breathing. And three, two, and rest. Great job, guys. Two down, six more to go. If you need to adjust your resistance, feel free. Let's go. Come on, you're doing great. Halfway there. 
and five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, shake it out. See these squat intervals, they are not easy. They're, they'll get you. Ready, let's go. Another 20. Come on, keep pushing. We're almost halfway through with the arm portion of this workout. Five more seconds. Two, and rest. Woo! All right, halfway there. We have four more on these arms. Let's see if we've got it in the tank. Let's go. Interval five. Come on. Keep pushing those arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Oh, man. These are starting to get to me. Come on, you guys. We've got it. Interval six, let's do it. Keep pushing halfway. Come on. Five more seconds. You can do five seconds of anything. Push, push, push. And rest. Woo, only two more. Come on, we've got this. Keep breathing. Let's do it. Come on guys, interval seven. We only have two intervals left. And then we get a full two minute rest. That's right, two whole minutes. Come on. And rest, Woo, shake it out. All right, Woo, just one more. Come on, we can do it. Let's go, come on. Pick up the pace. This is the last one on the arms, so really push. Good job, guys. Keep going. And five, three, two, and rest. Woo, oh my gosh, that burn was so good. Okay, we have a full two minute rest. So take it nice and easy. Grab some water. Take some nice deep breaths. Definitely shake out those arms because man are my arms feeling that. That was good. Stretch out a little bit as we have a full two minute rest. I really want you guys to feel totally rested and awesome when we get to the next portion of this workout, which is legs. All right, so same thing that we just did with the arms, but we're gonna be doing it with our legs this time. So eight total intervals. They're nice and short, just 20 seconds, eight times. For me, I'm gonna bump up the resistance, I think, to a six. Um, my legs are a lot stronger than my upper body, so I really wanna make sure I'm pushing myself. If four felt good to you and you think it would be hard enough on your legs, feel free to do that. Like I said, pick whatever resistance is appropriate for you and your fitness level at this current time. All right, I want you guys to be pushing and challenging yourselves exactly where you're at. But I don't want you to be struggling too bad because that can lead to injury. So that's very important. Okay, last sips of water here. We've got 20 more seconds. So if you've strayed from your workout area, head on back to your bike. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna increase my resistance right now. And go, interval number one.
Come on, guys. Let's push that pace. I really want you to push through each interval strong. Great job. Little rest here. Three, two, and go. All right, as we're pedaling, make sure that you are keeping your chest nice and upright. Shoulders back. Our core is engaged. Great work. Two, one, and rest. Whew. I can already feel it. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep moving those legs. And rest. Oh, so good. You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. Let's go. Interval four. Come on. We're almost halfway there with the legs. You guys are doing a great job. Nice upright posture. Let's make sure that we're not gripping too hard on those pulse grips. Nice, easy grip and rest. Oh, whew, okay. Halfway there. We've got to do those four again and we're done with our legs. Let's go. Interval five. Come on. Keep pushing that pace. Keep challenging yourself. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Nice work. Just three more. Come on. Let's go. Come on, you guys. I know you can do it. Keep moving. Ten seconds. Halfway there. And rest. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling that burn. Ready? Let's go. Interval seven. We have two more to go. You guys are doing such a great job. Keep up that pace. Let's keep moving. And five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, one more. Come on, we can do it. Let's do it. Three, two, and go. Come on guys, all out. Really push. Let's tire out those legs. That's what you came for, right? Let's do it. Three, two, and rest. Oh, thank goodness that portion is over. Woo, my legs are on fire. Okay guys, another complete two minute rest. Do whatever you want. I'm gonna take some nice big sips of water here. Make sure you're keeping hydrated. Catch your breath. You guys are doing an amazing job. Seriously, great work. Nice and easy, just relax. Rest well deserved. So, 
Our next Tabata portion of this workout, and our very last, is full body. So we're gonna be using both our legs, pedaling on those pedals, and our arms with the arm exercisers. Okay, so because we have both muscle groups going ham on the bike, um, I personally am gonna bump up the resistance to eight. Um, just to continue challenging myself, we'll see if I can do it. I might not make it through all eight, intervals with a resistance of eight, but I'm gonna try. So I'm just gonna encourage you guys right now to challenge yourself on your resistance. You might not be able to do eight, that's fine, but maybe bump it up just one and see what happens. Or if the last one was really hard for you, challenge yourself to stay at that resistance for this last set of intervals. Are you guys ready? We have about 15 seconds of rest left, and then we are gonna hit it hard. I'm bumping it up to eight. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> Get those feet on the pedals. We have about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna start in on these full body intervals. Who's ready? Let's go. Full body. Both arms and legs. Let's push it. And five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, and release. Woo. Full body, I tell you, it's not easy, eh? Let's go. Come on. As you push yourself, let's keep that chest upright, shoulders up and back, that core should be completely engaged. And rest. Whew. Great job, guys. Two intervals down, six to go. Almost there. Let's go. Push, push, push. Keep that core nice and stable. No jiggling around. And rest. Whew. Let's go. Back on it. Interval four. Come on. Keep moving. And five, three, two, and rest. Nice work, you guys. Halfway there with the set, four more to go. Come on, guys. I know you got this in the tank. Let's do it. Let's go. Push the pace. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. And rest. Oh. Oh my. Come on, guys. Let's go. Ready? Go. Interval six. Only three more. Come on, we can do it. And three, two, one, and rest. Great job, you guys. Only two more left. I know you can. Stick with me. Come on. Let's go. Come on, guys. Keep pushing yourselves. Don't back off. We only have two more. I want you to be pushing all the way through. And three, two, one, and rest. <sighs> Come on, last one. Let's go, we got this. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Come on. Ten more seconds. Give it all you've got. 
Keep moving. And three, two, one. And rest. Oh, finally. All right. Let's bring that resistance on down. One or two, nice and easy. Let's keep it light. Do a little pedaling here. Nice and easy. No need to push the pace. Let's just slow it on down and take a little cool down here. Cooling down is so important, especially after intense workouts like this one. You guys did such an amazing job today. It's important that we cool down those muscles, slow down that heart rate, normalize that breathing before we move on with our day. So nice and easy. I'm gonna get my full body involved here. Arms and legs. We did so much work today for our full body. So proud of you guys. You guys are awesome. Give me one full minute of this and you guys can be on your way. But if you have more time in your day, I highly recommend that you keep doing this for five to 10 minutes, just to cool down your body. We'll burn a few extra calories while we're at it. Focus on that breathing. Let's slow down our breaths. Big inhale through the nose and exhale out of the mouth. Another big one. In through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> All right, and that was our full two minute cool down. Like I said, if you guys have more time, keep going. Cooling down is one of the best things that you can do for your body. But thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with you on this killer recumbent bike workout. We will see you next time.